Hey everyone, Tyler from Get Jeeping. You see behind me here I have my 2000 Jeep Cherokee and I got two sets of wheels here and a wheel spacer. So you probably think what's going on. But before you check out this video, go ahead and check us out at our website getjeeping.com as well as we're on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. So check us out there. We post every day and have a lot more coming out soon. So you see right here this is a 31 inch um, Goodyear Wrangler tire. It's almost completely bald uh, and I also have some 15 by 7 um, Jeep rims. These are five spoke rims. Um, they are plastic dip black. And um, we want to go to a larger tire and to a better tire. So, I picked up these. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen what they looked like before. But they used to be a silver wheel um, that was bed lined which very badly. And these were chrome uh, rings. These rings actually pop off and you can leave them like that. So I actually picked up the rims and tires. I got five tires and four rims for $250. The two front ones have about 80% tread and their back have about 60 or 70. So they're gonna last me a good long time and I got a fifth I'm gonna be putting on just a regular rim. Um, I went ahead and I spent probably about close to $40 in paint. Um, I um, painted these, I sanded them down, cleaned them, primed them, painted them as well as the rings. Now these rims are off a um, early 90s or 80s uh, Ford Bronco or Ford F-150. Um, so they're 5 lug 5.5 as my Jeep is a 5 lug 5.45. So we're going to be using the wheel spacers. So I picked up these right here. Um, these were graciously given to us by a company offline on eBay actually. Um, guy's name's Ryan. Um, if I remember right the name is um, Integrity Automotive. Um, you'll probably see the logo on this video, um, or you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter and see where I posted our link there. Really nice people over there, great prices. They, these run, I think they're running right now for on sale for about $100, and they include extra lug nuts. Um, so really good deal for you guys. Um, they come in different sizes. I believe these are a uh, 1.25 inches, um, so they're going to give me a nice distance on the rim. So um, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to need is, of course, your wheel spacer. Make sure you have your lug nuts and you also need your stock lug nuts. You need some form of a tire iron to take it off. I would suggest using a torque wrench uh, that's inside this case to torque them down to 95 poor foot pounds. If I can say that right guys. And some uh, thread lock. I use the red. Um, I actually picked this up off Amazon for 50 cents. So I bought a whole bunch of them one time when they were on a clearance sale. But um, that's going to give us a good connection for those so they don't fall off. And what, fifthly or sixthly, you're going to need a floor jack to go ahead and jack up the front of your Jeep to go ahead and take off your other wheels. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and loosen your lug nuts before you um, jack the vehicle up. That way your front tires aren't spinning. And also engage your parking brake. Go ahead and get up as high as you need it and go ahead and remove the rest of your lug nuts. So what you want to go ahead and do is place your wheel spacer on the actual rotor here. And after you already taken all your extra um, actual inner lug nuts, you're going to take your lock tie and cut off the little tip here. And you want to go ahead and you're just going to put a little, little dab, I mean little. You, you can use this for R, R4 tires. And all this does is it keeps anything from vibrating loose or anything like that and then go ahead and save that. Go ahead and start putting your, your lugs back on. Now that you have them all the way on, go ahead and set your torgans to 95. Next let's go ahead and put our tire on. We should have it jacked up enough to be able to do it. Before you go ahead and tie up your lug nuts with a torque wrench, go ahead and lower the vehicle to the ground. And go ahead and tighten down your lug nuts. So you can see we're about halfway done on the actual install of these wheel spacers. You see the back is up in the air at the moment. And you see right here, I really like the red and black look on this Jeep. Looking sharp. You just want to give another big thanks to Integrity. Integrity Automotive for supplying us with these wheel spacers. 
Um, please go check them out, guys, if you want some wheel spacers or adapters or whatever. Or your Jeep Cherokees, Wranglers, any of those, even JKs, they have every listing you can think of um, for every kind of making car, and they're at really affordable prices and really fast shipping for them. That's about halfway on installing these new wheels. Let's go ahead and start on the back, and I'll show you all what it looks like in the end. Well, as you can see, these wheel spacers are working out great. Um, thanks again to Integrity Automotive off of eBay, uh, supplies with those, those wheel spacers. You see here, these uh, BFG mud train tires are doing great. Um, good tread on them. Got a really good deal on these wheels. I really love how the paint job's looking. As you can see, the whole red and white look. Um, this guy on Instagram, I forget his name, but he calls the Jeep Thor. As a two-door, um, is a two-door uh, Cherokee, and he has a very similar setup where it's white with a black and red uh, ring. But he just recently got his Jeep um, wrapped in blue. The one problem I'm having with these tires, which I'm gonna have to address, is that when you get to full turn, this will hit this. So I'm either gonna have to take the um, the flare off, or I might swap the um, the back with the front because the back tires a little bit lesser tread and might be a little bit better on there. But these wheel spacers are doing great. Um, I highly recommend if you need wheel spacer, check them out. Uh, Integrity Automotive, of course, will be a link in the description or an annotation be able to click on and check them out but really great stuff fast shipping really great guy at ryan over there um doing some great stuff but thank you guys for watching hopefully you stay tuned for more uh hopefully you enjoy this video uh, you can check us out at getjeep.com as well as our instagram facebook and twitter we have more videos coming out soon in the near future so stay tuned for that uh, go ahead and leave a comment if you have any suggestions on videos i can make for you guys in the future or have any questions and hopefully i'll answer them uh, best way to reach me is probably on Instagram or by email. Uh, there's an email listing on my website, or you can just email me. And that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next.